With the cobbled classic season here upon us, we start to see some changes on the bikes of professional cyclists. One of the most common changes is in fact double wrapping handlebar tape. The reason they do so is to get a little bit more extra comfort when riding over the cobblestones. However, it's not just limited to cobbles. It can also be to give you a little bit of extra grip. Sometimes you've got smaller hands or indeed you want just an extra bit of comfort. So today let's look at the process of how to double wrap your handlebars. So preparation is obviously key here. And what are we going to do first? Well, ideally you're gonna to want to remove your handlebar tape and then do some inspection. Uh, one thing to check is certainly the outer cable. So check to make sure there's no cracks, there's no rust forming, no corrosion, nothing like that. Also, where the cables go into the shifters, that there's no frayed ends or splits starting to appear. Uh, if you've got carbon fiber handlebars, inspect them carefully for any cracks, because even if you were to drop your bike, it's surprising how fragile carbon can be if hit in the wrong direction. Uh, another thing is to make sure that your brake lever clamps have got either grease on them or Loctite to hold those bolts in. Also worth checking too there for corrosion. Now it's just a case of refitting your existing bar tape if it's in good condition. If it's not, then really just buy some new tape to go on there. Now if you are refitting your current bar tape, uh, make sure that it is nice and clean on the top of the surface because you are going to be wrapping that second layer on top and if there's any grease or grime on there, the new tape is gonna have a hard job sticking to the top of it. Also, a top tip from here is to actually start a few centimetres from the end here and finish a few centimetres from the end here too. You'll see why shortly. So what are we going to need for the job? Well, you are going to need another roll of bar tape. Uh, there is a huge amount of different varieties of bar tape available. You've got ones with gel in, you've got very thin ones, cork bar tapes. I'm not going to run them all through with you right now, uh, but I'm sure everyone out there has got their personal favourite. Mine, I like to actually use a nice thin bar tape, but actually use two layers of it. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? Uh, you're also going to need a pair of scissors and a sharp knife. That's obviously for cutting and finishing off the tape. And finally, some electrical tape or insulation tape. That's to do the final touches here of the bars. So I prefer to actually unravel the roll of bar tape, so the second layer, and actually hang it over the top tube. Uh, reason being, it makes it a little bit easier to work with because it's not in a tight coil. So it's a little tip there. Now the next step is to remove the handlebar end plug. So pop that out and then you're going to want to measure a few centimetres from the end of the bar or a couple of ravels here you can see and then make a little mark on it perhaps and that's going to be basically where you're going to cut around the circumference of the handlebar and remove that bit of tape. Uh, you also want to do that at the top of the handlebar too where you finish the taping. The reason being that will allow you to tape over the handlebars and be able to tuck it in underneath the bar end plug. Of course, if you followed my previous step where I said if you were re-taping with your original layer, then you won't need to do that. However, if you are just going over your existing bar tape, this is what you're gonna to need to do. Now the process of wrapping the second layer is just like the first layer. So personally, if I'm stood behind the bike and looking at it, uh, the left hand bar tape, I'm going to start wrapping on the drop in an anti-clockwise direction and the right hand side in a clockwise direction. Why? Well, when you move your hands onto the drops of the handlebars, normally you become a more aggressive cyclist and in turn, you actually start to grip and tighten the bars in that direction. So essentially you want to continue to tighten the bar tape with your hands whilst riding. Doing it the other way, you run the risk of slightly loosening that handlebar tape. And that's not ideal because nobody likes loose handlebar tape. Peel back a bit of the backing tape of the handlebar tape and then start so that the sticky section is just on the edge of the handlebar and wrap that around. And then simply begin wrapping. Now you're gonna soon find out how much stretch the bar tape has got. And you can even practice on a small section of the handlebar tape before you start wrapping. 
So once you actually get to the lever hood, now it may or may not be possible to do the figure of eight style pattern around there. Uh, that is gonna depend on how thick your bar tape is and also if the lever hoods themselves can actually cope with the extra bulk of the bar tape. Now, when you pass the lever hood, essentially then you want to start wrapping it towards you if you're stood behind the bike. Reason being, you can get some extra torque from your hands and you're not gonna be loosening the bar tape whilst you're climbing or applying that extra pressure. As generally, we tend to pull backwards on the handlebar tape a little bit when riding along on the tops. Continue wrapping until you pass the finish point of the first layer of handlebar tape. Have a quick look as well at the bar tape to make sure that there's no uh, horrible overlaps or any big lumps, anything like that. And then pop back the hood just to make sure it fits before finishing off the final bit of the handlebar tape. So the next step is just to apply your electrical tape again in the same direction backwards. And give it a couple of rotations so it's nice and tight. So you're not working against it, you're always tightening it. And then try and cut it so it's hidden away down there. Just to try and keep it a little bit neater. Finishing touches, yep, you're gonna to wanna to tuck in the end of that handlebar tape into the end plug. Now if your end plugs are a little bit loose, you can always wrap them in something like masking tape, give it a few wraps and then whack it in. Don't be afraid to hit it in quite hard because ultimately you don't want them to actually fall out. So there we are, that's one side of the handlebar done. The other side is exactly the same process. Important to remember though, again, let's recap. Uh, on the left-hand side of the bike, whilst looking at it from behind, is to wrap in an anti-clockwise direction on the drops, and the right-hand side in clockwise direction. Once you pass the actual lever hoods, you want to start wrapping the bars towards you as you sit on the bike. Therefore, when you start to pull back on the handlebars, you're actually tightening and not loosening the tape potentially. Now, I did actually see a recent study that showed that by using gloves on a bike doesn't necessarily improve comfort as much as handlebar tape does. So there is some interesting reading to be had and a link to that is in the description down below. Now remember as well to leave me your comments on how you like to wrap your handlebar tape. This one always sparks debate and I'm going to be keeping a very close eye on it. Remember as well to like and share this video with your friends and maybe tag in a friend who is terrible at taping handlebars. Uh, remember as well to check out the GCN shop, shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. You can buy all sorts of things, hoodies, t-shirts, uh, workshop apron, you name it. Hopefully we've got it for you or a loved one. Now finally, to check out another great maintenance video, click just down here.